learning hand surgery one point at a time according to this kleinert and burden zone one it is distal to the flexor digitorum superficialis insertion zone two is the area from a1 pulley to the flexor digitorum superficialis insertion zone three extends from the distal end of the carpal tunnel to the beginning of the a1 pulley the zone four injury represents injury to the tendons at the carpal tunnel level and zone five represents the tendon injury proximal to the carpal tunnel. The need for such a classification is because surgically when there is an injury to the tendons each zone has got a characteristic. Zone 1 represents injury to one tendon in an osseofacial tunnel. Zone 2 represents two tendons in a tight osseofacial tunnel. Zone 3 represents tendons under the palmar aponeurosis and relatively free. Zone 4 represents 9 tendons in an osseofacial tunnel and zone 5 represents tendon lying relatively free in the distal forearm. Hence, tendon injury in zone 2 and zone 4 where there are more than one tendon in an osseofacial tunnel are prone for problems after repair.